there's so much to say, so much to clear up. We did not do this veto of basic health care for the poorest of the poor. We passed off our floor the priorities of this House that make sure we have health care for the poorest of the poor, Representative Hamilton. We did not put certain priorities over another, and I think this House lived up to its responsibilities. And if we want to divert this debate from basic health care to economic assistance programs, at least get the facts right. Our programs are actually less generous than Wisconsin and South Dakota. You can't drive a car around that's nicer than $7,500 because we have an asset limit. There are guidelines and assurances that the abuses you spoke of do not happen in Minnesota. But members, we don't want to talk about what we're discussing today because I think this body knows that we have a responsibility to the most vulnerable. It's time that we start looking at each other and start looking into each other's eyes. It's time to say, if I expect you to sacrifice by giving up your health care, it's time to ask ourselves, what sacrifice are you willing to make? Members, the bill that we passed off the floor, all of our budget bills, along with the tax bill, you know what? I don't know what the sacrifice I would have been making. And I have a role in the solution. We all have a role in the solution. To only ask your most vulnerable to play a role in that, I think is criminal almost. The decision before us, in my estimation, is a decision between convenience and a decision of moral responsibility. The values that I grew up with as a child says that my world extends much beyond me as an individual. These individuals that we're talking about today that get the basic health care of GAMC, 70% of them have a mental health condition or a chemical dependency. 40% of them have a chronic health condition that's not going away when they lose their health care. And you know what, members? We are one day, one accident, one mistake, and one medical condition away from being in the same spot. We all need to play a role in this. We all need to start looking at each other in the eye. And I can't ask those up above us and look them in the eye and vote right on this. I want to participate in the solution. and We all have that right and we all have that responsibility as leaders of this state. And when I see that we're protecting the richest of the rich, Somebody making $300,000, members, under the bills that we passed off this floor, will be, pay be paying 0.0019% more. I think that's a, just a little bit of shared responsibility that's fair when we're asking people to give up their health care. When we're asking the person living under a bridge who served our country in the past, who has a mental health condition, that we're not going to give you the basic needs and the basic rights of medical care. I don't think this is a tough vote. I'm going to vote green, and I'm going to be able to look everybody in the eye when I walk out of here. I'm proud of being a part of this body, and I hope after this vote I can continue being proud.